One of the biggest benefits of having a uh, Subaru converted bus or VW is you get a real legit heater. And uh, it being winter, uh, it makes sense to install a heater. I have had uh, Army the bus for quite some time with no heater. It's time to finally get it installed. Army the bus is finally getting a rear heater. Looking at the transmission, we look up here and we have the uh, the bench, so underneath the bench seat, there's a wonderful platform where you can drill two holes for the 5 8 inch heater and line. At the bottom of the engine toward the front of the van. We look here, these are the heater inputs and outputs. This is the circuit. So for the last five years, I've had it looped, and I'm going to basically take two 5 8 inch heater hose lines and run it to underneath the bench. I could have gone and just bought a heater core from Jags or Summit, but that's not really my style. It's kind of more fun making things. So for my personal vehicles, I tend to do that kind of stuff. Uh, I found these in a old school bus that we retrofitted. These are for the air conditioning and heater vents. So have a whole box full of these things. I think I'm gonna use these as the grill for the heater core. This heater core is from a old school uh, VW, I think a Golfer Scirocco, I'm not really sure. And this massive heater blower is from that same school bus where I got these. So I'm gonna actually split this guy in half the motor spins both sections. So I'm just gonna split this case basically. So I have one. Here's the lower panel of the bench seat arrangement. Sweet wood paneling from the 70s. Here's a little template for those, the little grills. And I'm just gonna kinda use that as a idea point for where to mount this guy. I think I'm gonna go pretty centrally located. Time to split this case to see what we're working with. Pretty sweet little unit. I'm gonna cut off one of these. Here's what we're working with. Nice little compact unit now. So the heater core itself can sit like so. And the heater blower will sit somewhere around there. I just need to build a shroud for it. But what I like about this is that I can use this structure here and this structure here to bolt it down and uh, also bolt the shroud to it. So we'll see how that turns out. First off, I'm just going to build a box for this. I brought out the sheet steel to start bending a little shroud for this guy and I found that in the junk bin so I'm going to use it. Look at this. Look at how tight and close that is. That's going to be pretty rad. So now I just need to bend a flap over here and make an exit for the heater hoses. There's the box. Just need to put some weather stripping around it to kind of seal it off. And now we're ready for this side of things.
Here we have the hole cut and the output of the blower mounted in the new box here. And uh, I'm just gonna be test fitting everything uh, and then taking it back apart and painting and cleaning up a little. But let's see how it fits in the bus. I have it resting in position. So now I am going to cut All six holes have been drilled out and these guys fit in here nicely and looks like I'm able to swivel them around, which is what I was hoping for. There we go, the grill is on. I got the bezel painted and built a little platform to raise the assembly up just a touch. Now I'm gonna build some L brackets to hold everything together. I made and installed the L brackets and yeah, the lower L brackets at least and it looks like it's working out pretty well. Now I'm going to secure the heater core itself into the housing and seal it up so all the air goes through the heater core. Heater core is in and weather stripping is ready. So what I'm gonna do is drill a couple holes in the mounting base here. And then I'm going to weld in a couple studs so that I can just bolt it right down. Studs are welded in and the heater assembly is in. Just for fun, let's test the flow. There are the inputs and outputs and going to drill some new holes for the pipes right in there. Grommets go like that. Holes drilled and grommets installed. Here are the heater pipes I bent up out of steel and now I'm going to throw a bead on the ends. Now we have a little bead on there and I have another video on how to make this tool. It's pretty cheap. So that'll do it. One more thing before I install, I'm going to drill a couple holes, notch some little nipples on this and then weld them on so that it creates a little bit of a T there. Then I can link it with some rubber hose. Heater pipes are now ready to install. Go, let's get some hoses on. Ding! Hoses installed. Underneath, looking the, at the heater input and output, there we have the hoses there. And there are the metal pipes right above the starter. Now that the physical side of the heater installation is done, we're looking at the electrical. I found a VW switch here and used some cleaner to get it working well. It wasn't working well before. So we're going to use this as the activation for this relay. This is just a Subaru relay. I come across these all the time. So this is going to go to battery positive. This thicker gauge is going to go to the uh, heater itself. This guy is going to ground, and then this guy, he's going to go to the output of the switch. 
and the other side of this switch is going to go to a power source. Here the relay is installed, so now I'm going to install the switch. To get the signal from the heater itself to the front where I can control it with a switch, I use this stuff. It's just four wire, trailer wire, and it lays flat, pretty sweet, so you can run it in tight spaces. And Army, who I'm installing the heater into, has had this stuff installed for about five years now. So I'm just using one of the wires off of that to trigger the relay. There's the light switch. On the other side of the steering column is another little light switch. I like to think that this is kind of like the blower vent blowing air out. Can't wait to use it. I've had the heater installed for a couple weeks now, and let me tell you, I can't believe it took so long to get this thing installed. It's so nice. Uh, Durango, Colorado's in the mountains. We have mild winters for Colorado, but still, having like taking the edge off, having some some heat of some kind is just been amazing. I can't wait to install a front heater now. So hopefully, it won't take another several years <laughs> anyway thanks for watching and don't forget to rate comment and subscribe that would be rad check you guys out on the next video